The Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Platform is designed for service providers as well as for small and medium-sized enterprises. Kaspersky Business Hub implements a centralized workspace management console. This console enables managed service providers to administer protection of multiple customers, regardless of their size, infrastructure complexity and geographical distribution. All Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud components, protection, control, response and management, are available to customers. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud can protect devices running Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, as well as data stored in, or sent via, Office 365. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud for managed service providers is licensed similarly to Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud for enterprises. However, workspace management and licensing have their specifics as far as service providers are concerned. Workspaces are an important security administration tool for a service provider because they logically separate customers who receive cybersecurity services. A service provider can create a dedicated workspace for each customer organization or add several organizations to a single workspace. We recommend that you unite only small organizations. If a customer has 20 or more devices that require protection, consider allocating a separate workspace to such an organization. When working with workspaces, keep in mind that when a workspace is created, it receives a 30-day trial license. Each workspace requires a separate license or subscription. A workspace is limited to 999 users. You can have different security profiles and user accounts for different small organizations within a single workspace. A workspace is created the same way as when using Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud for the needs of a single organization. When deploying Kaspersky Endpoint Security in an organization with a large number of devices, it is not always convenient to email invitations. Alternatively, an administrator can download the installation package and deploy it centrally using Active Directory or a remote monitoring and management system. This method, however, is limited to the operating systems that the management solution supports. As a last resort, you can always install applications manually. To deploy an installation package using Active Directory, download it from the Distribution Packages page of the workspace. Save the installation package to a folder accessible to all devices where it needs to be installed. To avoid errors when installing the package, make sure the file name does not contain spaces. You can find the script for deploying a package via Active Directory in the article Deploying Security Applications by using Active Directory in Kaspersky Online Help. Create a text file. Copy the script from the article into it and edit the following parameters. Share path. Path to the installation package. Package name. File name of the installation package. KESCLOUD key name. Name of the registry key that confirms the installation has been started. Save the script file with the BAT extension. Open the Group Policy Management Console. Expand the desired domain and create a new object in the Group Policy Objects. Enter the name of the object and click OK to save it. Right-click the object and select Edit. In the window that opens, go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, Scripts, Startup, Shutdown. Choose Startup or Shutdown. Depending on when you want to perform the installation, in the window that opens, click Add. In the Add a Script window, Click Browse and specify the path to your script. Click OK to save all changes. Go back to the Group Policy Management Console. Right-click the target domain and select Link an existing GPO. Select the created Group Policy object and click OK to save the changes. You can link a Group Policy object to an organizational unit or site in a similar manner. To speed up managing multiple workspaces and security profiles, you can import and export profiles. To export a profile, Open Security Management, Security Profiles. Select the profile you want to export and click Export. In the window that opens, you can protect the profile with a password. Click Export and save the generated profile file to your hard drive. Navigate to the workspace into which you want to import the security profile. Go to Security Profiles and click Add, then Import. Select the downloaded profile, enter the password if you've set one, and click Import. When the operation completes, the profile will be displayed on the list and ready for use.